What's going on guys? It's your boy Peter and I'm back again with another video. Um, today I'm going to be talking about the few things you should know as an aircraft maintenance engineer apprentice. Um, so I graduated from Centennial College in the year 2016 and I got a job at Bombardier Aerospace. Um, that's because I could not find a maintenance um, job. So I worked there for three years and I got, I got laid off in the year 2019 because of you know, COVID. And um, luckily I got a job at uh, AAR, which is in Quebec and uh, I'm working there right now. Uh, for my experience, because when I graduated, I didn't really have that much people to, you know, share this information with me and I'm here to share it. So my, for my experience, the first thing you should know is that it's not gonna be really easy to get a first job and you must be ready to relocate. So when I graduated, I had our friends, you know, they were not ready to relocate to like, because there was a lot of jobs up north, west, like in Calgary, there was a lot of jobs in Calgary and I had friends there and they were like, you know what I mean? Like, they're not ready to leave their family and friends. I'm like, bro, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's a career for us, you know? For you cannot really get a job in Toronto, especially a big city like Toronto, it's really hard. And it's a lot of competition because like there's a lot of graduation that everybody wants to live in the city. So as an aircraft maintenance apprentice, you must be ready to relocate. And that's the best way to get a job. Um, secondly, tools. Um, I made these mistakes um, for my tools. I went too crazy on tools. You know what I mean? Uh, I remember my first year as an apprentice, I went to Canadian ties and I started buying all these tools, which I didn't really use, you know what I mean? Because I didn't have people to share that information with me. And it was crazy because my first six months working as an apprentice, I didn't really use my tools because I was working with the ACA guy, with the AME guy, AME license guy. And I didn't really have to use my own tools. I was just using fuel wrenches, in um, what's it called, fuel wrenches, fuel screwdrivers. I didn't really use that much tools. So I would say as an aircraft maintenance apprentice, don't go too crazy on tools. The best way to do it is to get a job first. Just buy your basic you know, wrenches. You need your wrenches for sure. You need a screwdriver. Uh, what else do you need? You need um, a wrench screwdriver and probably a side cutter or lock wire gun. You don't need nothing too crazy. Eventually, when you start, once you start working, then you can find what tools you need. Uh, my third point is the pay. Uh, so for pay, I know I know everything is crazy right now. You know, the economy is like really crazy. Everything is ex expensive. Um, I would say don't really have that much expectation when it comes to pay because um, it's gonna be tough. Uh, they don't pay apprentice that much. Um, I remember when I started, I was getting twenty dollars an hour, which was pretty high compared to other companies and compared to my friends. What they getting in other companies? Like some companies will start with you like sixteen an hour, um, seventeen an hour, eighteen an hour. But once you get your license, once you get your ACA, then you start getting crazy. Once you start getting a lot of money more. But for as an apprentice, um, don't have this crazy expectation when it comes to pay. Uh, my last point is the logbook. Logbook, logbook, logbook. Make sure every tax you do, you get your logbook signed. I honestly, I had friends that got too comfortable, you know, just working, 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 and did not get a logbook signed. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, you want to get a logbook signed so you can get your license and you can start making that you know better money right so and it's, but it's gonna happen to everyone it almost happened to me because you get so comfortable and you get some you get more into the job and you don't really think about your logbook but the logbook is, is really important and make sure every tax you get you sign your logbook and um, make sure you get everything done as fast as possible because i have friends that do take four years to get that logbook signed, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, you want to make that money, right? You know, we're all working to make good money. And once you get that license, life becomes so much easier. Life becomes so much, you know what I mean? The pay goes crazily up. You have more 
advantage and you can get your ACA, your endorsement, like you have more advantage once you get your logbook and license. So yeah, those are the few points I think is really necessary for an aircraft maintenance apprentice. And if you guys have more questions, I can always, you know, or you can always send me an email or in the comment section and I will definitely you know, reply to you guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video, all right? I'll see you in the next video. I'm out.